Hello reader friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a very fun day because we are doing an entire day of dark academia themed things. So right now I'm at half price books because I don't even need anything really, but I like to come here at least once a week or so and just see like all the new things that they get in because since it is a used bookstore, they always get new titles in. And there's been times where I have really had good luck and there's been times that I've completely struck out. So with that said, I'm just gonna go in kind of look around, see if anything speaks to me. And then after Half Price Books, I'm gonna go home and I do have class at about 12.30, so I need to leave my house at 12. So if you don't know, or if you haven't seen some of my previous videos, I am a horticulture student, so plants are my life pretty much. All right, if I could find my phone. It is 10.48 right now, so I can only be in here for a little less than an hour. And I know that sounds like a lot, but I look at every single book that are, that's on the shelves. So it usually takes me a while to get through the store, but it's a really small store. It's not like one of the bigger ones that's in like a bigger city. And like I said, I'm not really looking for anything in particular. So it shouldn't take me like super long in there. And then after class, I'm gonna go to Brenton Noble and do some botany homework and probably look around the store as I have a problem with buying books. Ooh, so that is kind of the spiel for the day. I am currently reading If We Were Villains. I just started it, so I'm on page like 30. It's really good so far. I was a little bit confused just because there are so many characters. I was kind of like trying to figure out, and I'm still trying to figure out kind of like who's who, but I think I got kind of the gist of it. But I really love the whole like vibe of the book. It's very dark academia. Yeah, so far it's just a really fun book and I'm really excited to see kind of how this all progresses. But I'll be reading that a little bit later. And then I'm also listening to, I forgot the title of it, The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. It's a middle grade book, but I'm really enjoying it so far. It's actually getting pretty like intense for a middle grade book, whatever that <laughs> looks like but it's really good for a fault because it's kind of like those dreary mysterious vibes if that makes sense so i'm really enjoying that like on my drives to and from like work and school but other than that i am now going to go into half price books so we'll see if i come out with a million things or not back home from class. I didn't end up having any time to film like in between half price books and going to class because I literally cut it so close. I spent so much time in half price books. I literally left like the minute that I absolutely had to in order to be at school on time. So here's like a little video montage of what I did at school today. We had to plant some certain seeds because we are starting to rewild the specific piece of land that is near my school. So we're just starting the seeds for that. And then at the beginning of the semester, we got these plants that we are supposed to take care of like through the semester. They're just house plants that the greenhouse had. And mine has mealybugs, of course, which are these nasty, disgusting, crab-looking white bugs that are pretty hard to get rid of, but I was wiping them down with some diluted alcohol. So hopefully those go away soon because they are disturbingly gross. But now that I am back from class, I'm going to change back into my Park Academia outfit. But before I do that, I wanted to show you guys the other things that Simple Retro sent me. They were so kind and sent me four of their items. I think it's from their like pre-fall list. So literally all of their pieces are so beautiful, so vintage, so retro, and I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. So one thing they sent me, minus the belt, is these like trousers and they're super cute. They're like, I don't know if you can see that at the bottom, but they're like cuffed. These I'm excited to wear because I don't really have any like dressy -er pants, but the cool thing about these is that you could dress them up or dress them down. Like earlier I was wearing this with the sweater vest that they also give to me and it was so cute, but it was a little bit too like dressy for the grocery store that I was in. So I took it off and put some different pants on, but these 
so cute and then they also sent me this blue turtleneck it's super soft it's like probably one of the softest turtlenecks i've ever worn and the sleeves have these cute little like white endings i don't know if you can there we go they have these cute little white endings but this so cute the color absolutely beautiful and then they also sent me these sweater vests that i was wearing earlier today and i'm actually gonna put this back on here in a second so fall so cute and then the last thing i got is this cute little like vintage yellow crew neck it's got this little design right there and then it also has their name on the sleeve right there simple retro so if you haven't checked them out you definitely should because they have the cutest vintage and retro selections of clothes so now I'm gonna put on my dark academia outfit that I had on earlier and we're gonna go to Barnes and Noble and I'm gonna get a coffee and a little croissant I'm gonna do some homework and I'm gonna read if we are villains because I do want to make a little dent in that today and of course we're probably gonna look around because why not we're in Barnes and Noble we can't go to Barnes and Noble without looking around but in half price books I did end up getting just one book so I'm really proud of myself for that which I will probably add that into a book haul that's gonna be coming up in the next like two weeks but I just had to pat myself in the back for that like going into half price books and walking out with only one book. Okay, I'm gonna get dressed now and then I'll see you at Barnes and Noble. Okay, we're at Barnes and Noble now. I did take my turtleneck off because it is 80 degrees out right now, even though it was literally 50 this morning. So we're just rolling with the sleeveless sweater vest right now. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna do some homework, get some coffee, my croissant. And then we're gonna look at some books. <music> friends so I am back from Barnes and Noble. I actually went to my boyfriend's for a little bit and I studied because I have a plant name test tomorrow but it is about nine o'clock at night so I think I am going to start getting ready for bed and then start reading if we were villains. I have to get up early tomorrow so I don't know how late I'm gonna stay up and read it but I do want to get to at least page like 100. I've been really sucking at putting aside like reading time. So I've been reading all my books like very slowly and I hate it because I'm just anticipating these books so much and I have so freaking many that I want to read in October. <sighs> I love being a full-time student. <sighs> Anyway, I did put a sweater on because it went from being 50 degrees this morning to being 80 degrees to then being 50 degrees again. So we are layering and unlayering and relayering today. Also, I did manage to leave Barnes and Noble with zero purchases. I know, I know, I know. But it was really hard. I did have two books that I had in my hand and then I was like, am I gonna read these right now? Do I need these right now? Think Faith, you have, you have so many books at home that you still need to read. And have you read any yet? No. So. You should wait until you at least read one book to buy another one. So I did the responsible adult thing and I put them back, but then I added them to my Amazon cart. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm gonna get my pajamas on slash comfy clothes and then we're gonna start reading. I'm gonna go to bed now because it's getting kind of late and I do have a test in the morning that I need to study for still a little bit. So I am enjoying If We Were Villains. I haven't gotten to anything like super intense yet. We're still kind of just like world building, I guess, and like learning about the characters and learning about the um, area that they're in, the school that they're in, kind of just learning like who everybody is but I'm excited to get into the more intense 
stuff. It's weird because like it's not oddly enough It's not something that I'm like super in the mood for right now I I think I'm still stuck in the shatter me world. So like my brain is just like ah. But I feel like the more I read on in If We Were Villains, the more I'm gonna get like into it and into it. But right now I'm just reading it really slow and I hate that. Maybe it's because my brain is like full of schoolwork and other random things that I can't like focus. But like I said, I am still very much enjoying it and I really do like the vibes and the whole world around it. I hope you guys had some fun hanging out with me today. I would love to know some of your favorite reads right now or what are you going to school for? Like what do you do? I want to know what you're doing. As always, I love you guys so much and thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.